hey guys welcome back to your tito's channel this is tito people and for today's video we will look into the available games for august for playstation plus essential subscribers but before we start please don't forget to leave a like and share the video and if you're new please consider subscribing and clicking on that notification bell so that you are notified every time we release a new video let's go This is Yakuza Like a Dragon. It is a role-playing video game developed and published by Sega. The game is set in 2019, three years after the events of Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. Similar to previous games in the Yakuza series, side quests can be taken up by the player to gain additional rewards and players are also able to enjoy the various side activities around the map such as karaoke. A new side activity introduced in this game is Dragon Kart, which is similar to other kart racing games in terms of gameplay. A major departure from previous Yakuza games is the battle system. Instead of the real-time beat-em-up mechanics of previous games, Yakuza Like a Dragon features a real-time turn-based RPG-type combat with four-person battle team. However, unlike typical turn-based RPGs, characters may use nearby surrounding items such as bicycles to attack enemies. Like a Dragon is also the first main series game not to have Kazuma Kiryu as its protagonist. Its lead character is Ichiban Kasuga, a low-ranking member of the Arakawa family. In 2001, Arakawa persuades Ichiban to confess to a murder which he did not commit. Ichiban is released from prison 18 years later but finds nobody from his clan waiting to meet him. He is approached by Koichi Odachi who informs that Arakawa had betrayed the Tojo clan by revealing their operations to the police, allowing the rival Omi Alliance to take over Komorocho. Ichiban also learns that Arakawa is serving as the Omi Alliance de facto leader, though his son had apparently met an untimely end with Adachi's help. Available for August is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It is a skateboarding video game played in a third-person view with its gameplay oriented towards classic arcade games. As such, the goal of most modes of the game is to achieve a high score or collect certain objects. The player must complete objectives to unlock levels to progress through the game. To score points, the player has to successfully perform and combine aerials, flips, grinds, lips, and manuals, with successful executions adding to the player's score. The point value of the trick is based on time maintained, degrees rotated, number of tricks performed in sequence, performing tricks on specific landmarks on the map, and the number of times the tricks has been used. Successful tricks also add to the player's special meter, which, once full, allows for the execution of special tricks, which are worth a great deal more than normal tricks. And lastly, Little Nightmares is also available for August. It is a puzzle platform horror adventure game developed by Tarshir Studios and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment for Microsoft Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Stadia. Set in a mysterious world, Little Nightmares follows the journey of Six, a hungry little girl who must escape the Maw, an iron vessel inhabited by monstrous, twisted beings. The game received positive reviews upon release with critics praising its atmosphere, graphics, 
and sound while criticizing its checkpoint system and short length. A prequel, Little Nightmares 2, was released February 2021. And I have played this game in one of my live streams while I was on Twitch, and it took me only about two hours to complete. It is a fairly short game, but is really exciting when you go through different puzzles and you go through different levels. And there you go, these are the monthly games available for August, which you can download by August 2, 2022, the first Tuesday of the month. Now, which of these games would you want to see me play? Please comment it down below. And also, July games is still available up until August 1st. Make sure to save them into your library. And that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and share the video and consider subscribing if you are new. Again, this is your Tito Pipa saying, keep safe, stay healthy, and eat plenty. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.